Hey, Joe, did you remember to bring the film? Yes, Mr. Rumbar. Good, good. <laughs> now, listen, Joe, we're really going to clean up on this one. Hey, straight in, get the shot, and then straight out. <laughs> and we're laughing all the way to the bank, right, Joe? <laughs> right, Mr. Rumbar. <laughs> Say, Fred, is it all set? All ready to go. Shut it down. Shut down compressor 101. Blocking the amine still. From time to time, especially during a shutdown, a gas plant is in need of certain specialized services which cannot be provided by plant employees. These services are provided by contract personnel. And because they are not usually familiar with the plant's hazards, they must obtain a work permit which specifies exactly the terms and limits of their work. When contract personnel stay within the limits of their permit, there is seldom need for worry. But when a contractor violates his permit, the results can be disastrous. Okay, you fellows have been uh, briefed on our emergency procedure in case of fire and air contamination. Uh, well, let's just check this out here. J&W test required, Drager test required, steam and water hoses on hand, fire extinguisher on hand, and no open vessels in the area. Okay, now, I'll sign here. And I'll get you to sign there. Now, the people have been alerted that you're welding in the area. Okay, fine. Now, I'll team up with you in just a bit. Try to keep you out of mischief. Who's next? Uh, Harry Rumbard, One Shot Films International. Uh, no doubt your head office has informed you that uh, I'm... Uh, Rumbard, Rumbard. Oh, yes, you're the guy that's making our safety films. Uh, that's right, Harry Rumbard, right. Uh, One Shot Films International. Okay, uh, Mr. Rumbard, your permit is all ready for you here, I see. And, huh? uh, uh, by the way, are you all alone? Uh, no, no, I've got my man Joe here. Uh, Joe, he's my technician. Hi, Joe, how are you? Okay, uh, Mr. Rumbard, you'll be working in the area of the Amin still. Okay? Uh, fine, fine. This is Will Mueller here. Okay, now Will will be with you as long as you're here. Now, do you want him for some of your shots? Oh, just a few simple shots, that's all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Will will, uh, will will check out your equipment to see that there's no sparks being thrown. Mm -hmm. And we've already checked out the area for toxic and explosive gases, and you're all clear. Good, good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr... Rumbard, I'll sign here, and I'll get you to sign this. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, if you have any problems, be sure to consult with Will here. Now, this permit, uh, remember, Mr. Rumbard, is for the area around the still. Now, there's to be no entry into any of the vessels and no hot work, other than the use of your camera, your lights, or your tape recorder. Now, is that clear? I got you, Mr. Dupont. Okay, yes, no. Sir, absolutely. There you go. what lousy work habits are really like. So what we're going to have you do is make out like a mindless worker approaching the manhole cover on uh, this still without any safety precautions whatsoever, huh? Right? And then we'll add some kind of a voiceover to explain the action. Okay? I see. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay, now. Now listen carefully because this is what I want you to do, okay? You listening? Now, I want you to come rushing out of this door here, okay? I want you to run over here and grab a hold of this ladder here. And I want you to prop it up right against the still here, okay? Take these wrenches and run up the ladder and loosen that nut on the manhole cover on the still. You got it? Uh, now, one shot, will you? Uh, do it right, first time, okay? I don't want to waste any film, huh? huh? Roll up! Can't go up like this. The ladder's not secure. Cut! 
How am I going to make a film about unsafe work habits when you're too chicken liver to act the part? I'll get some rope. Forget the rope. Forget the shot. Rope will ruin it. I could get a ladder of the proper size. But it's going to look unsafe. Tell you what, Willie boy. Forget that old ladder trick, huh? You come through the door, up a proper ladder, remove the manhole cover, and stick your head in. Okay, oh, Joe, get that shorter ladder up against the step. Yes, sir, Mr. Rumbard. Roll up. I got a test for toxic and combustible gases. Cut, cut, cut. Willie, I'm on a very tight budget. Why can't I get any cooperation out of you? Because I might get a toxic whiff of hydrogen sulfide gas if I do that. There's nothing cooking in that pot, Willie. The plant is shut down. I won't do it. Willie, you are going to do exactly as I tell you to. Hey, Joey, give me that grinder. Now, Willie, you are going to take this grinder up this ladder Open up that manhole cover, and you're gonna climb in. I'll climb in this vessel only when you get a permit to have me do so. You don't need a permit. You work here. And when you've got the permit, I'll enter the vessel with A, an airline mask, B, a harness and rope, and C, a standby plant employee. Hey, Joe. Now, we gotta get this dummy to work a bit faster. Right, Joe? Right, Mr. Rumbard. We don't want to lose our shirts on this job. Do we, Joe? No, sir, Mr. Rumbard. Okay, Willie boy. Now, let's finish with this business. You are going to run out of that door, grab a hold of this grinder, hustle your buns up this ladder, and you're going to grind some of the rust off the collar on that manhole. No way. You ain't got a hot permit for grinding. Then suppose you get us a hot permit, Willie. Well, I'll have to find Mr. Dupont. You just do that. Okay, Joe, let's get the shot. Roll them. Hey, Joe, come on up here and get a close up of me grinding the rust off of this manhole cover. Roll them. Did you, did you break wing or something? No, sir, Mr. Rumbard. Well, it sure... <laughs> well, Harry was lucky. The hydrogen sulfide he released from the rusty scales of the amine still didn't kill him. Thanks to the plant's rescue team, he was brought to fresh air and revived before it was too late. But none of this would have happened if Harry had stuck to the conditions on his work permit. By placing his greed above his concern for safety, Harry endangered everyone and very nearly did himself in. And Harry's film? Well, let's just say that the quality of his workmanship is of the same caliber as his concern for safety. <laughs>